Yo, what's going on? Your boy is back with a clock nose, ready to pull out the hose and put out the fire, because I am the fireman. Now, as you can see, we running with the brand new Mono SDR team, your boy Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta at the helm. You know me, Super Battle Road has not been friendly. Uh, to be completely honest with you, if I, uh, you know, have to go through the bullshit I went through with uh, Beerus... That glitch, that glitch pretty much ended my career, where if you turn giant, the game just dies. That pretty much drained all my energy for Super Battle Road. And I'm going ha to have to learn to get used to Super Battle Road and work my way back into getting back into Super Battle Road. So as you can see, this is a very easy team. So easy. So amazingly easy. And let me just say, although this Jiren has dog shit links on this team, link-wise, he is so damn valuable in the fact that he actually has... Uh, the ability to stun everyone, and when someone is stunned, he does do a critical attack. And he works well with Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, the EZA one, because if he stuns, then Vegeta does a shit ton of damage. If Vegeta stuns, and Jiren does a shit ton of damage. They're meant for each other. They really are. Not in a gay way, but, you know, there's nothing wrong if that was gay. Stop fucking hating. Um, but, uh, yeah, I decided to do this EZA. I tried it the first time. I ended up beating it. The LR Super Saiyan 4 is fucking ridiculous. Uh, I can only imagine how easy it is to do... Extreme S3R with, uh, of a, of, with a Goku team, um, which I feel like you wouldn't even need <clears throat> a double Goku team because I feel like Super AGL has more tanks than, um, or more tanking potential than Super SDR. Uh, I mean, granted, with LR, Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, yeah, it's, you know, fucking tanky as shit, but I'm thinking without the Super Saiyan 4s, I think AGL has a little bit more, you know, you can bring Super Vegito. You could bring fucking, even uh, SSG Goku is pretty good for tanking potential. You know, a lot of tanks. And that EZA Piccolo, Loki's a god when it comes to tanking. P Speaking of EZA Piccolo, your boy, he, I'm sick. Like I said, I'm a sick man. I was home sick today. So you know I've been on Reddit, okay? As, as in, in between me sneezing, in between me sleeping for 14 hours, I was on Reddit. I saw the updates. With the brand new, sexy, handsome, transforming Piccolo. Uh, that dude looks badass. I really am happy that they're adding more Piccolo cards. Well, I mean, it's not. It's one Piccolo card. He's going to be a uh, Dokkan Fest exclusive. And then from the Cell Saga, or Android Saga, I guess, because this is early Cell. Uh, they're adding your boy, first form, Imperfect Cell as, I believe, an LR. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, LR, first form Cell. Uh, which is pretty cool. I feel like... In the game, the Cell Saga and the Android Saga was really focused on early in the life cycle. So, for example, you know, when like the Android Saga was kind of emphasized during the first Cell Dokkan Fest, the, the Tech Cell, when it first came out. So, a lot of the units that came out were at that time, you know, Super Steroid Vegeta, Super Steroid Trunks, the Android, some Piccolos. Um, so, I feel like after all this time, it's good that they revisit, revisit that. Because there's no Piccolo that I think of other than LR Piccolo and EZA Piccolo that I even bother using. And in both cases, I use them mostly for tanking potential. Because, again, that EZA Piccolo is a beast when it comes to tanking. That motherfucker will hold it down for the pound. And then LR Piccolo just all around is really good for defense. Um, although I personally like EZA Piccolo more. Just because he does... He's EZA, dude. He does a shit ton of damage. And sometimes he crits. Like, he's a fucking badass. But I would like to see... I think a lot of people have already said this, that... Every Piccolo in the fucking game is named Piccolo, so you can't have EZA Piccolo and LR Piccolo on the same team. You can't have fucking, you know, this new uh, badass TUR Piccolo with LR Piccolo or EZA Piccolo, which fucking sucks. It'd be nice if they had, like, Piccolo transforming with Kami, because he's a transforming unit. He transforms, chooses with Kami, he becomes a god. That would be badass. That would be really cool. But I guess it's something you just gotta wait and see. Either way, I mean... Right now, EZA Piccolo kicks LR Piccolo right the fuck off. If I have a choice between the two, usually it's EZA Piccolo. Um, although LR Piccolo has his, you know, he's pretty good. But if this fucking badass Piccolo comes out, I feel like I'm saying Piccolo a million times. Piccolo, Piccolo, Piccolo. If this badass Piccolo comes out, I think he's going to kick them both off any fucking team. Because he's going to come out. He's going to be handsome. He's going to be looking very strong, very handsome. And I'm going to be like, listen, you bombs need to get the fuck in the shower like Beanie Siegel. And I'm trying to rock with your boy Piccolo. And I, I don't know how the LR Cell will work out. Because I feel like First Form Cell is such a fucking rat. Like, I feel like his special ability is that he's just a fucking coward. And he can run away or he can, like, get HP back or something. 
Because first form cell is the definition of a piece of shit. Although, if you watch that episode, Piccolo is a little bit of a piece of garbage too. Because as you, if you watch that episode, Piccolo basically trolls the shit out of fucking uh, first form cell when they're talking. When they're in that town. And Cell's like, I'm going to fucking destroy. Because he nukes Piccolo's arm. He destroys Piccolo's arm. And, by the way, by the way. I don't know if I'm retarded. I'll get I, I'll get to this after this, but I, I I gotta mention something about this fight. So, Piccolo gets his arm ripped off from First Form Cell, and he's like, "Fuck, this is crazy. I'm fucking dead." He he either gets it ripped off or he gets sucked. And Cell's like, "Oh, you're fucked. You're fucking done. You're cooked. You're caca." And then Cell's like, "You know what? You know what? You're right." I mean, uh, Piccolo's like, "You know what? You're right, Cell. You're right. You're hundred percent right. How about you tell me your plans? I'm dead anyway. I'm mince meat." Just let me know what you're planning, Cell. I just want to know what your greatness is. And Cell, being like every other James Bond villain, goes, you know what, Piccolo? You're absolutely right. So, as you know, Dr. Jiro, he's a nice guy. He made me. I'm the perfect creation. Goku's part of me. You're part of me. Everyone's part of me. Blah, 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 blah. So, Cell keeps talking. You know, this is one of those tips. Like, when you go on a date or something, they say talk about the other person. Make them talk about themselves. People love talking about themselves. Cell is an example of that. He won't shut the fuck up. He's like, oh, I'm great. Everyone loves me. I'm great at parties. Kids love me. So, he's just talking, talking, talking. And Piccolo buys time to grow his arm back. So, Piccolo gets his arm back. Cell's like, oh, what the fuck? And Piccolo's just, like, ready to destroy Cell. But then Cell does solar flare or some bullshit and ends up running away. And now, this is my question. If I remember correctly... Why couldn't Piccolo just beat the shit out of Cell to begin with? Like, wasn't Piccolo technically strong, stronger than Cell? I don't know. I don't, maybe it's just me. Maybe maybe the whole gimmick of that is that Cell sucked his arm. And because he sucked his arm, Piccolo couldn't fight. I don't know. I just I just kind of find it weird when you think about it. Like, Cell fucked up Piccolo. Piccolo was like mincemeat. And then after Piccolo grows his arm back, all of a sudden, Cell's like shitting his pants and he's ready to fucking die. Uh, either way... Android Saga is a badass saga. It's probably it's probably one of the best sagas in Dragon Ball Z. I mean, the Cell Saga is fucking ridiculous. If I had to rank it, I'd probably put the Android Saga under Cell Saga just because... And, and when I say Cell Saga, I'm talking about after Cell absorbs 18 because the fucking battle and everything that led up to that is badass. Um, but with that being said, I still have to say the Android Saga is badass. Just seeing Vegeta get his arm broken like an asshole... By fucking Android 18. That's true feminism. That's true female power. Uh, by the way, shout out to Jiren. As you can see, this man stunned this piece of garbage. And well, mm, look at this. Oh, you stunned? Are you stunned? Answer the question. Critical. Get get this bum and put him in the fucking shower. Um, but uh, yeah, seems like a really cool unit. I I be I think I think they need to have more OG units, like more like pre Boo Saga units. Because I feel like at this point, the game has gotten really fucking heavy on post Boo Saga units. At least in terms of units that are really good. Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I guess in terms of the best units in the game, there's a mixture of, like, Dragon Ball Super, GT, and then the Boo Saga. But if you think about it, like, who the fuck is good from the Namek Saga and then the Android Saga? I know on JP, that kind of became a little bit different with the badass Rage Goku and the badass Frieza. But in terms of the Android Saga and the Cell Saga, like, there's there's LR Cell, obviously, but I feel like there's no amazing Android 17 from the Android Saga, no amazing Android 18 from the Cell Saga. Don't say the fucking LR Androids. The LR Androids make me depressed. Just looking at them makes me go, what the fuck? Why can't you be better? They're good free-to-play units, yeah, but they're not fucking, you know, they're not gods. I'll tell you that right fucking now. But, uh... Yeah, I feel like it's it's something that Dokkan should do in terms of, like, having older units. Because, technically, like, there's a lot of, like, older, like, from the Namek Saga. So like, not even the Namek Saga. So like, like, let's say let's say Dragon Ball, right? Um, or actually, no, this isn't Dragon Ball. This is what? When the fuck was Garlic Jr.? Garlic Jr. is when Goku is in Otherworld, right? Something like that. I don't know. I know he's a movie villain or whatever, but fuck. Come on, dude. Garlic Jr. is a god. You gotta put that nigga in the game. He's literally the definition of a roid head. He fucking sees the fucking, you know, the goddamn star up in the sky, and then he just becomes a fucking, a monster. Was it the monster or some bullshit? I don't remember exactly. All I know is, I fuck with Garlic Jr. He ain't in the game. I don't appreciate it, Bandai. I'm gonna keep it 100% positive, uh, or 100% real. I don't appreciate it. Same goes for, like... Well, I guess, I guess they got cooler. They got badass coolers in the game. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, look at that. Everybody's stunned. 
No one can move. I appreciate that, Jiren. I like that, Jiren. Now I know why I brought you, Jiren. Rest in peace to your boy, Jiren. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess there's more units that could come. I also saw that they finally updated Dokkan with the fucking uh, ability to have more than 999 items. Which is more important than anything else. Fuck Piccolo. Piccolo can go fuck himself. The most important thing to me is the fact that you can now have 999 Gregory, uh, Gregory's Bubbles and fucking Jiro's. Because that shit needed to be in my life about a year ago. Never mind fucking on JP in like, what, another week or two? Which is nice. And that's actually... I actually have a a video. I don't know when the fuck I'm going to post it. Probably this weekend, maybe, of my personal top 5 or 10. I'm looking at the list. Quality of life updates I'd like to see in this game. Because I feel like Dokkan has lagged behind other games in terms of certain quality of life updates. I mean, for me, I it, it, Dokkan is a really good game, and it is somewhat fair. It's more fair than other games. Like, I can think of right now off the top of my head one thing that's better than Dokkan than, say, Naruto Blazing, is that Dokkan removed fake goals from the game. That's a big plus. I fucking hate that sometimes you'll be playing Naruto and you'll get fucking Choji Akamichi's fucking four-star bitch ass coming up as a gold awaken. It's, it's bullshit, right? Um... But at the same time, Naruto has certain things that I like a lot more than uh, Dragon Ball uh, Dokkan Battle. It, and, and and it's just small things. Like, okay, there's big things like you get a free daily summon, right? That's kind of big. Um, not not front point, but like an actual like fr uh, like an actual um, single summon. Which is pretty big because I have gotten a couple of golds from that shit. Um, but for me, the biggest thing that I like about Naruto is that it's just the UI is better. Like, okay, first of all, it's multiplayer. That's one positive. I don't know if Dokkan can ever... Dokkan could have it. I don't know if they will, though. Probably not. Um, but I like the fact that in Naruto, you could just play a game, and after you're done playing a game, boom, you fucking plus re replay, and you can replay the same exact stage with the same exact friend, and it just makes it easier to farm shit, because, you know, sometimes you're playing an event, you're just gonna f keep farming it, so why not... Just keep farming it with that one friend over and over, or at least give the option to do that, because a lot of the times, like, say if you're farming event heavy, like LRs, for example, uh, within a day, if you're really farming that shit, eventually you're just going to run out of friends and you have to play randoms, which is alright, but then you don't really get who you want. I don't know. I feel like there's some quality of life updates that other games have that Dokkan re could really benefit from, but at the same time, it has been four years, Dokkan, what's good with you? How come all these other games got shit going on? And by the way, let me just say, I know this is going to be obvious, but the fact that fucking the Super Saiyan 4s get a free super attack with their active skill is amazing. Like, I love that shit. Because, like, for example, I played the Super Battle Road with Broly, Tech Broly, the LR. He's amazing. He's fucking ridiculous. But I think one added bonus of the LRs, Super Saiyan 4s, is that their active skill is an actual ability, whereas with Broly, it's like an active increase. Like, for example, I think he's, is like, what, attack plus 40%, key plus 12 or some bullshit. Or 24, something like that. Which is pretty good. But, um, if you were ever playing, like, let's just say that if the fucking enemy has, like, 1 HP, you're 1 HP. You do that shit with Broly, you're gonna fucking die if they're attacking first. Because he technically doesn't attack until the turn starts. And it's not like he becomes impervious or anything like that. So it's nice to have this ability where you, you get a free super attack. And not only is it a free super attack, but it's a safe super attack. Because you just fucking shoot it off and you don't have to worry about anything. Meanwhile... With your boy Broly, you gotta fucking watch out, otherwise you might die. But, with that being said, Broly's super attack looks fucking amazing. I love that super attack. Keep it a buck. Keep it 100. Keep it 100. That shit's worth the fucking possibility of dying. Because as much as I like, the Super Saiyan Force have pretty cool super attacks, but they're pale in comparison to fucking LR Broly. LR Broly's super attack is so much better. In my opinion. Personal opinion. Please don't flame me, bro. Pardon me, I had to blow my nose. Holy moly, guacamole. You know what's crazy is that I got sick at one of the worst times for my job because uh, this whole week I've been really busy. Well, not not crazy busy, but we have had things to do. Uh, but I fucking, I saw an email today, like, I'm out sick. Like, I'm out sick. I actually tried, I woke up today, I was going to work from home. My fucking head, dude, I could not stand, like, just sitting up. So I ended up going back to bed. I just took a sick day. Um... But I saw an email from one of my coworkers, and he's like, yeah, man, you know, I told this other team that we're integrating with that we're going to fucking update this, we're going to update that, and we'll have it done by the end of tomorrow, meaning not today, but tomorrow. I saw that shit, I'm like, oh my fucking god, dude, what the fuck? Because this wasn't the intention of what we were going to do. Is it possible? Yes. 
But I just hate the fact that now we're under this weird time constraint and I'm sick. Because honestly, I'm fucking sick sick. I think I am going to go to the office tomorrow. But I, I just don't know where they stand. Because I was out for a day. And the last thing I was doing yesterday was I was updating like two services. See, the thing is like what we've been doing is, is the work we've been doing. We're basically creating uh, pipelines in, in, in the context of AWS. Like it's basically just serverless functionality used with our uh you know, our business uh, intentions. Um, and we have a bunch of shit that we spin up and we use their resources. And I think we're going to update a couple components, which isn't crazy, which isn't terrible. But whenever we do that, you have to test it from that context, which takes time. And the other thing we're doing is that we're maintaining everything with one item that maintains our database and our database is changing. So like we're updating it basically, which means we're going to have to test that especially hard and make sure the shit works. Uh, and like I said, we, we have multiple pipelines, so like we're probably going to end up updating one, maybe two, shit, maybe all of them at the same time. It really makes no difference. And then we have to test it out and make sure it works, which is annoying. It's fucking time consuming. And I just know, dude, the other day I was at work. I almost I almost witnessed a fucking I almost witnessed like a curb stomping. Like, I don't know. what I don't know why, but I went to a meeting, right? Someone sent me to a meeting. They're like, yeah, we want to do this. We want to do that. I'm like, okay. So what they wanted to do was like something with permissions for the company, like people, uh, to keep it generic. Watch this counter. Dude, you can't touch me, stupid. Fuck you. Um, so it was like uh, some security update we wanted to have people have more access to something. And I'm like, all right. I just want to make sure this isn't a security concern. I want to make sure this isn't a big deal. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. But... I, listen, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I don't move. I don't breathe unless my architect says to do so. He is the tech lead of our squadron. He is the architect, and he sits closest to me. If he gets upset, he could kill me. I'm right next to him. He could kill me. So uh, my point in saying that is that after I got done with the meeting, uh, I'm like, fuck, a lot of shit came out of this meeting. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. A lot of shit's going to change. Is this right? Is this wrong? Whatever. Um, so... What ended up happening is I told the architect, I'm like, hey, man, they want to do this. They want to do that. I just want to make sure is that kosher with you. Does that sound good? He's like, no, no, absolutely not. That is a security hazard. We cannot do this. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, oh, as a matter of fact, this meeting wasn't yesterday. It was the day before. Uh, and I actually got an email recently that they're moving forward with what they wanted to do and not what he wanted to do. So I'm like, so now my heart is hurting. I'm like, oh God, please don't have the fucking architect just pick me up and slam me onto my head. Cause I, he's a strong guy. I, I believe it. I believe he could turn it to the Hulk and do it. Um, but Hey, at the end of the day, I haven't said, dude, I'm such a bitch. Whenever I talk to people at my job, like I try not to cause problems. I'm like, I told them like, Hey man, you know, this is what they said. I might be misconstruing it. You got to ask them. I'm telling you. And he's like, what the fuck? What the blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, dude, I swear. Because I could tell he didn't like the idea. And I'm like, oh, my God, fuck. Like, my intention was to just tell him. And then him be, him be like, okay, whatever. I don't give a shit. But he ended up looking. He's like, what the fuck is going on? And I'm like, whoa, holy shit. What the fuck? Uh, so I ended up talking to the guy. I don't know what the hell is going to come out of it. Uh, all I know is. Uh, I hope they don't pin this on me. I hope that I can stay being a rat in the background. Uh, but at the same time, if they want to throw hands, if they want to pull up, I do have 911 on speed dial. I don't even have to hit the 911. I just go to contacts, emergency, boom, police, the ops, they whip me. I don't say fuck the ops. I say call the ops. Get the ops in here to fucking save my ass. <clears throat> Not shave my ass, save my ass. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's going to be a busy day tomorrow. I'm sick as fuck. Uh, look at that. Tell me that's not a fucking beautiful photo finish. Of course it's not. It, the fucking match is still going. Um, but uh, it's going to be really busy tomorrow. I'm going to be really fucking sick. I really hope I feel better because honestly, yesterday, I'd like this is what happened. Monday, I was feeling I was feeling pretty sick. I woke up. I'm like, ah, I ain't feeling too bad. Then yesterday, I went to work. I was feeling worse. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, please don't get worse. Do not get worse. So I, I was going to work from home today. Because I got shit to do. Shit got to get done, right? So I'm like, I'm going to work from home today. We're going to get work done. I woke up. Like, in the middle of the night, I popped some pills, popped some Tylenol. It did absolutely fucking nothing. I woke up. I sent an email out. I'm like, unfortunately, I'm going to be a fucking sick man today. So hopefully I feel better tomorrow. Hopefully I don't go into my job and I see my fucking architect standing there with boxing gloves or getting ready to kill me or anyone else. Um, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But... <coughs> 
<clears throat> that's what I got to do. I got to cough. Tomorrow, if he comes up and he's like ready to box me, I'll go, oh, you went, you went and hit a sick man. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, it is what it is. And as you can see, this is actually old footage of what I'm doing here. And what you're about to witness is the first round of the rewards. I think I actually took the rewards. I don't remember. And I actually realized after this, I was like, how come I, how come I don't have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta as my friend? Because I'm like, why the fuck do I have Broly as my friend? The answer is because World Tournament. But look at this. Look at these gifts. I know this is after the fact. And everyone probably already has this shit. But I was surprised that Bandai actually gave us 100 stones. I was surprised by that. Because I think the highest they ever gave was 50. Like, 50 was the highest. Um, and I was thinking, like, maybe 50, 75. But they fucking gave 50 and all these orbs? I was like, holy shit. That's fucking God tier, dude. Um, so, that's pretty cool. I I'm surprised Bandai actually kind of did the right, right thing in terms of uh, rewards. But... You know, I guess Bandai isn't all bad. I mean, like I said, bringing out the new Piccolo, bringing out the new quality of life updates, they can't be that bad, right? They can't be that bad. Uh, by the way, let me just say, speaking of Bandai, uh, I saw that new video by uh, Hydros. I think that's his name. There's it's like 30k views of him using that Dokkan battle bot. Yo, I hope Bandai don't shut that shit down, dude. That battle bot is god tier. If the same shit that happened to fucking Renzi's bot online happens to this bot, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to start farming the game like a normal human being. So with that being said, if Bandai comes to you and they ask you what's going on with this bot, you say, I don't know about the bot, never heard of the bot, I only buy Dragonstones. When I, you know why I play Dokkan Paddle? To buy Dragonstones. You know what I mean? Just keep saying that shit, make Bandai feel comfortable, and I think we can get through this. Real talk.